Okay, hello world. It is Mr. Resistor here with our Alpha Journey uh, Part 3. Or day 3, I should say. Uh, let's see. Do, do, do. Welcome email if anybody's got questions. So uh, let's see. Got some stuff. Uh, we will, let's see. <sighs> Go ahead and claim our rewards. Except for the expert systems, which we are saving for later. Uh, <clears throat> today's activity is skilling spree, which is my personal favorite, even though I'm not using uh, <clears throat> even though I'm not using the uh, skill points just yet, I still like to collect them. Um, so as you can see, I've trained a bunch of skills, uh, mostly social skills, so we should be getting slightly better rewards and let's see what we've got okay so we got two probes and a venture and oh nice real data and relic analyzers uh, very cool Vitar Venture Skin. Go ahead and activate that. And two minor ones. Excellent. Um, okay. So, what we're going to do real quick today is we're going to start the other four career paths. So let's see. Clear hostile vessels. Get some data sheets from where? Oh, transport some data sheets. Okay. Forcer, uh, kill some pirates, and industrialist. Mine some belt spar. All right, so this one uh, we're actually going to wait for tomorrow. So close that. Uh, just because a little bit pressed for time today. So here's what we're going to do. We'll, uh, uh, let's go ahead and use this ship. Why not? Okay. That and that and that. Drop these. And let's see. Did he give us the gun already? He did not. Alright, we'll throw the salvager on here just because I love me some salvage. We will <coughs> throw on this afterburner. Medium shield extender, nice. We'll throw that on there. Um, even though this is a small ship with the field ex with the shield extenders, you can usually go um, up a level 
and that can give you some pretty significant uh, boosts in your uh, defense. <coughs> so, let's see, what else do we have? Nano fiber internals. Eh. Sure, we'll put one of those on there. And the gas pass key we don't need, so we'll take it out of our inventory and we will. Oh, but we do need the data sheets. So let's go ahead and undock. <clears throat> and the first one, let's see. Let's go ahead and do this delivery first. Warp drive active. <clears throat> So, note we just have this civilian auto cannon that we took off of our uh, Corvette. Um, that should be enough um, for this first for this first combat mission that we're gonna do. Um, shouldn't be a big deal. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. Alright, so we complete our delivery. Go ahead and close that. another special offer. Alright, so we'll head back to Maluka. While we're doing that, let's refresh ourselves on the details. Okay. Alright, so kill the pirates. And this other one is another uh, Kill the Pirates. So we'll warp to location. Warp drive active. Um, again, since it's the first mission in the starting career paths, uh, the single civilian Gatling autocannon should be enough. Um, if I was doing something more significant, I'd probably want at least two of these, maybe even three. Um, maybe some drones. I'm personally a big fan of drones. Um, I'm hoping that I'll get a drone skill book soon. Because um, one thing I've found actually is that if you've got if you've got drone skills, you can actually do most of these uh, career missions in a venture um, and handle all of the uh, combat missions with your to uh, <clears throat> with your 
with your two. Uh, light scout drowns. <coughs> and yeah, we're going through this guy pretty quick, as expected. But he's got friends. Um, so basically, I'm just targeting and orbiting each of these guys. <coughs> Um, I've got my afterburner on to keep me going fast. That's my main source of protection, even though I've got this big shield extender. Um, it's still better to not get hit. Um, so, one of the things to know about combat in EVE um, is how guns work. Um, so your guns have a, um, does it show? Yeah. So turret tracking, 715. Um, so that's pretty fast. Um, basically that's how fast your guns can turn to aim at a target. Um, if your target is moving, uh, fast enough past you, they can outrun your gun's ability to aim. Um, and that's essentially what we call speed tanking, and that's basically what I'm doing right now, if I can stay off of these rocks. I'm going fairly fast. Um, as you can see, current speed, 400 meters per second bit more. Um, and that's about half of what this ship is capable of in its current configuration. So, <sighs> and I'm orbiting them. Uh, I believe the default orbit distance is, is 1,000 meters, although your actual orbit distance depends on how fast your ship turns and all that all that sort of thing. So I'm ending up with about 2,500 meters uh, orbit. But that seems to be enough. Um, and with that shield extender giving me a lot of a lot of buffer, um, I can take care of these guys pretty easily. Now, I am going to take a little time to do one thing, and that is salvage. Um, I am a bit of a loot junkie in general, so uh, I don't like to leave loot laying around unclaimed. Um, <clears throat> and so salvaging is part of... Uh, it's a big part of how I do EVE. The general consensus is if you're running missions, you'll actually make more money if you don't stop to salvage. Um, but, um, you know, you can get uh, you can get decent components, uh, modules, ship modules. Um, so, as you can see over here, this ship, a uh, wreck with little square in it, that means it's got items in there that I can loot. Um, so I get something for that beyond just the salvage, the ones without those. Don't have anything to loot, but um, you can still get stuff for salvaging, right? And all of this uh, salvage that we get is useful for manufacturing. Um, mostly they're used for making rigs, um, which is a topic we'll probably talk about at a later date. Um, but uh, they can be pretty handy and and actually uh, pretty lucrative in terms of uh, basic income for a, for a starting industrialist. They're a, um, 
rigs and ammo are probably the most reliable uh, things to make and sell. Um, ammo, obviously, constantly getting used. Um, and uh, rigs, uh, because they depend on this salvaged loot in order to be made, um, you know, there's a there's a bit of a premium uh, premium price to be gotten for those. And so, in the long term, that'll be <clears throat> um, we kind of got two choices uh, with these. Um, we can sell them, uh, which I may do if you know, depending on depending on my money situation, um, or uh, or we can save them uh, and acquire some uh, rig blueprints later on for manufacture. Um, not really sure what I'm gonna do uh, for now. I'll probably save them and uh, figure it out later. Um, even if I am going to sell them, I'd want to do it probably in, in uh, one of the trade hubs. So in Minmatar space, we've got two, either Renz or Heck. Um, <clears throat> and I don't know that it makes a huge right. difference which okay. one you go to. Um, I tend to hang around heck more than wrens um but uh that's really kind of just for convenience um and i suspect heck might be a little bit more um active as a trade hub because it's uh um it borders on uh low sex space so you have a lot of uh a lot of incoming uh, items. All right, so again, I am targeting, I am orbiting, um, and he's kind of far away. So I am after burner bang boosting. Yeah. One nice thing about the civilian Gatling autocannon doesn't use up any ammo. The damage is low, but you can essentially keep firing it forever. Um, if your opponent uh, has uh, too much repair ability, so uh, let's see, they're a little bit far away, so I think. What I'm going to do is salvage this guy and let them come to me. Can I target them at this range? I can. Okay. <clears throat> um, yeah, so anyway, the uh, one hazard you can run into the with these is that because they don't do a whole lot of damage you can run into enemies who uh either are either able to repair their shields or their armor um or even their hull um and you're just not going to be able to do enough damage to actually get through and kill them um <clears throat> so you will want to upgrade to better guns but you know this uh, this mission was made with the assumption that you'd be flying a corvette and you wouldn't uh, you wouldn't have a decent ship. Um, yet so the civilian Gatling at Gatling auto cannon is enough. Alright, 
So, again, I'm going to loot this guy. I'm not the new enemy that just came in. Ooh. Okay. So this thing right here, clutch restraint, warp disruption, field generator, that is some valuable loot. Um, it requires Omega to use, so obviously it's not useful to me. But look up here at this estimated price. It's about four million. Um, which you're at, and uh, you will be able to sell it for somewhere in the neighborhood of that. You'll probably, probably after taxes and stuff, get uh, 3.6 million ish. But that is a nice haul, and that's gonna really help our wallet. So, some good luck there. Um, Alright, so for what else we've got, these three are our uh, rig components. The metal scraps, um, typically you would reprocess those to get tritanium, which is um, kind of the most basic uh, <clears throat> the most basic material that goes into building just about every ship um, or uh, or module or or anything. Uh, there's a tremendous amount of tritanium is used, and metal scraps can be reprocessed into it. Um, if you're reprocessing skills are not high um, it can actually be pretty valuable to sell it right so here we're looking at about 900 disc each um, okay and we got enough kills to complete our killing spree task so that'll give us so it gives us some more bonus skill points in our bank and what else have we gotten let's see increase your standing with a corporation 1.0 sweet we are popular <coughs> so some more isk Um, so one thing you might have noticed is, uh, this lady over here, um, she does have some decent advice. Um, I'm already familiar with, <clears throat> with the skill plans, right? So I don't need help with that. Um, you know, feel free to click on that and get her advice, uh, if you want to know more about that. Um, there was, um, I think I might have gone past it already, but there, when they first implemented this, there was a, <clears throat> it would give you a mission to go start a career mission, <clears throat> uh, but it was bugged and, uh, you couldn't complete it. So on one of my other characters, I still just got that mission sitting over here, unable to turn in. All right, and we are done with the salvage. <clears throat> we'll head back and turn these in, and that is gonna have to be it for me tonight so unfortunately i have a real job and i've got to get Docking up in the morning request accepted. <clears throat> mission tomorrow go all right and we 
will put our loot in the hangar. Um, get the rest of our rewards. Mission one, mission one. Okay, for the different paths. Cool. Um, and yeah, so that's gonna be it for tonight. And we will see you next time. Um, oh yeah. Um, word of advice, always, whenever you have the scaling spree, always do that. Um, sometimes you'll also have, uh, <clears throat> some, uh, some PVP tasks. I usually skip those. Um, but we'll do, we'll do one at some point, um, when I've got the spare, the ships to spare. <laughs> All right. Um, so that's really it. <laughs>